great model. Obviously, I've, I've only worked for about a couple of weeks now. Obviously, in the training and stuff, and product feels pretty good and real light. Suits my game perfectly, so yeah, looking forward to wearing them. Got to be real comfy, snug on the on the foot. Obviously tight because obviously <clears throat> you don't you don't you don't want your feet moving inside the boot, and obviously as well they need to be light, which is perfect for for this this type of boot. It is pretty good to see them going a bit more outrageous with the colours and stuff. But me personally, I see that as as a way of falling down. You know, you, you can only come down from it type of thing at the moment. So hopefully when um, when you're playing some real good rugby, then you put you put the flashy boots on. The first final I ever got to, I kept my um, my boots. Obviously, it was um, it's a big thing to me. Obviously, playing rugby growing up, wanting to play in finals and stuff, and I thought it was only only right to to keep my boots. That I played in my first final. Rugby league territory, which is northwest, um, Oldham and stuff like that. So I played rugby league. In, from the age of seven till obviously 21, so um, it was always always massive on rugby league and stuff like that. And um, obviously, it's a great sport, but I always took interest in rugby union as well because I like any type of rugby, to be honest. No way can it can it be an easy transition at all. Um, people may say it's rugby, this is rugby league, this is rugby union. Believe me, it's it's, it's a completely different sport and completely different skills and. Obviously, it's, it's the sort of thing that you need to, to, to work hard on to, to, to achieve what you want to achieve, so. I think the most important thing for me, to be honest, mate, is um, being fit. Just being fit, getting a good pre-season and, and, and getting back on the field and enjoy, enjoying my rugby life. To be honest, I reckon probably that's probably my asset that I was, I was born with, you know? A bit of speed and stuff like that, but like I said, I, just, I don't think you can rest on that. I think the more you work, I think I think you'll see it. The more you work and you work hard at stuff, you'll always get better. So even though I'm probably born with a little bit more speed than a few other players, I think if I work on it a bit more, then you know I can only get better. You got to believe in yourself. I think I think that's what one thing that, that a coach said to me when, when I was young. You know, I, I think I may have had may have had a little bit of something that I could do on the field, but maybe I didn't believe in what I was doing and. You know, a coach pulled me to one side, he said, believe in yourself, you know, you, you can do it. And sometimes it's only one sentence. If any advice I can give is, you know, believe in yourself and enjoy it.